In today's video, we are using five items around our desk to make embellishments. So these are five element embellishments. This is our mini challenge in the challenge for the December Junk Journal Challenge 2020. Stay tuned as I make four of them. Hi everybody, it's Julie. Welcome to the messy desk. Today we have a mini challenge in the challenge. I'm so sorry that I had totally forgotten about those for this month. And so today we have one and we are going to use five items from our desk area. So five items that are in your desk area to make an embellishment. So this can be any type of embellishment, any size, but you need to take five items from your desk area, okay? And your tools and things uh, can be from that area. Remember your mini challenge in the challenge, they can be for any project. They don't have to be for the, the big journal that you're working on right now for the challenge. Um, it can be something totally separate. So I have this, um, uh, while I was waiting for my phone to at least charge enough to be able to make a video, I went ahead and I put two business cards together and I added this gold foil little thing in here to be a tab. So um, that is, I'm going to count that as two items, okay, because the business cards were on my desk. And a little gold thing is right here always. Okay, I have a little, I have a little thing right here with, with things in it. <laughs> okay, I am going to use um, some more of these awesome pieces from the uh, pink ephemera, the pink antique ephemera, and the pink harmony. So. We're going to go ahead. This one's from the Pink Antique Ephemera. And it does have music on it because I did put music on the Pink Ephemera because I love to use music in my projects. So, um, and I have several very old, well, from the 1800s music books to use. So, um, so we're going to go ahead and put this on and that will be our third thing. Okay, I just started the glue so it's got it. <laughs> One of these has to... <laughs> yes, I did just growl. <laughs> there, this is the one. I made sure I had glue going because while I was waiting for the... Okay, so I'm going to make this so that it can go in uh, a pocket like this. And I want to decorate one side. So that gives us three items. And then I'm thinking um, that I probably do want something over here. Maybe some of the, we've been using the Dollar Tree lace, which I love. Okay. So you're just, you're going to make three different embellishments using five items on each. Okay. And you can, you can have some of the same items on. Okay. So that is a four. And you know, another thing I love to add, I love to add these numbers, but I did pull out this amazing, this is from the planner section at the store. And so I'm gonna go ahead and we'll take that off and Let's see. Sunshine forever. Hello. I think we'll just put hello on this. Okay. So we're going to need a stamp pad. 
I've been looking for, I'm like going, I need words. Oh, I've got this. So this actually should get stamped onto something, I think, and then get put on there. Okay, so I love that. It's like typewriter font. There we are using a scrap. I like that too. And there we go. We can just put hello on there. Okay, so we have a die cut, a stamped word. We used a business card and the gold foil and the lace and a staple. Okay. So there is our embellishment using at least five items. This would be really pretty to, um, to be distressed also. Okay. So you guys, um, and of course you could add a sticker. And we have been using these little tiny stickers too. I'm going to go ahead and add that. I just think that's so pretty. So there's one. That was easy. Okay, so for our second one, I'm going to go ahead and I have some of the hearts. You haven't seen me use these in a while. Um, but these are the hearts that I have from, uh, I cut them with my Cricut. And when I cut them, I usually cut about four or five hundred. And a lot of times I'll use scrapbook paper, scrapbook pages that I'm just probably not going to use for a project or if I have a project in mind, I will cut, you know, those ones also. So I'm thinking, you know, the obvious, we go ahead and put this across. Now I have a dryer sheet, which I do like to use dryer sheets. And this time it's not coffee dyed or avocado dyed. It's just, it's just a dryer sheet. But I think setting that on there will be really pretty. Okay, so that you can see what it's gonna look like when it gets put onto something. I really like that, like a lot. Okay, and then maybe some lace and let's see well, I'm th I think a word would be kind of cool here um, or a number yeah let's go with a number okay so we can go ahead and glue this down to the heart so we'll glue our music to the heart And we'll glue our lace to the music. And you see I'm using my Mono Tombow liquid glue even to glue down the lace. Now it will take longer to, um, to glue down. Okay, and then I'm going to pick this whole thing up and I am going to, I think this, so I think I want to see the lace here. And I'm going to go ahead and use my stapler and I'm going to staple it twice okay and staple that on there now um, I think we also need to go ahead and add some glue around the outside here so remember as you're getting ready for January that um, dryer sheets are awesome and if they they still have a little fragrance if you can if you like the fragrance um, it's kind of fun to have that okay so we have the heart the dryer sheet the die cut the lace and this and the staples okay so there is another embellishment if you're here for the premiere I'm waving hi and say hello to chip hi chip I'm so glad you've joined us today. If this is your first Dear Julie premiere, 
Just know it is a pre-recorded video, but we use the Premiere format so we are able to have a live chat as this video premieres. We do this each day at 1030 Pacific Standard Time. So if you want to join us in that chat, hit the live chat button. Come on over and hang out. Make sure you introduce yourself so that we can get to know you. We also have our Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group. And just so you know, there's a free digital in the file section just waiting for you. I put that there for us while we're home, safer at home. And it's been a lot of fun to use. Do check out the Beginner's Junk Journal series on Dear Julie Julie channel for six complete start to done journals that we made and one of them using that digital kit. So let's get back to our, oh yeah, today's the last day for the sale on the 11 digitals, including Pink Harmony and Antique Pink Ephemera. Those are the two digital digitals that I used here. Remember also Courting Lady Jane, Roses Roses, Laura's Roses, Antique Roses, and as well as the avocado dyed paper and the brand new succulents and roses are all included in that sale. 50% off. So now let's get back to our program. You can see that this can go really fast and I know it being, you know, it's Christmas. So I want this to go fast for you. So next I have this is from the Pink Antique Ephemera. Now remember these uh, digitals are on sale. Today is the last day, Tuesday, for the Pink Antique Ephemera, the Pink Avocado Dyed Paper. Um, that's a digit. All the did. There are eleven digital kits on sale, and you can, um, you know, you can look on the Dear Julie Julie. Um, Etsy and look to see which ones are the ones that are on sale. So now remember I am doing a smaller um, journal so I'm going to probably want to um, maybe go ahead and make this be a flip out. Okay, I can still make it as an embellishment, but I want to I want to be thinking about where it's going if I have an idea of where it's going. And this one I happen to know that it is going to go in to this this journal and I think I'm going to go ahead and yep, you guessed it. I am going to make a flip-flop because I like them. I like the extra um, writing space. I think that they're fun. So I'm going to go ahead and fold this in half. I'm going to go ahead, pull this back. You see the line is there from the fold. I'm going to pull it back about a quarter to uh, between a quarter and a half an inch. Okay. So see that right there? So what's that? Like that's actually probably a quarter. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add the glue. This is the wrong glue. Let's put it way up there so it's out of my way. Okay, so I'm going to add a glue to this right here. Okay, you see that? And then I'm going to go ahead and we can either add this. You see it's been folded back to where it goes. So if we put it this way, it's going to be on the flip and it'll be a true flip-flop. It'll literally flip and flop with this page. Or we can put it here, which I think for this one, because it's so small, I think that's your best bet. So we wanna go ahead and push it all the way into the crease and then push it down. So what's gonna happen is this is gonna open. You're gonna have all this writing space where you can go ahead and tell your story. And at the same time, you're still going to have this area here. You don't lose anything 
except that one little area, but you gain all of that other wording. Okay, so that's one item. Now what's gonna happen is when I, I'm gonna go ahead, like we did in the, the one yesterday, um, when I add this in, let's go ahead and have it ready. So if I put anything on here, um, I've already got my, my little, where we're gonna add the, the page. Okay. Try and get it a little straighter. Okay. Okay, so that can be added onto a page like this and flip and flip. Okay. So I think that that will be really fun. So now let's go ahead and we can add some something to it. I think it might be kind of fun to add something along the lines with the um, with this stuff. Okay. Then we have these little tiny from Pink Harmony. And so we've got the, the kids really tiny and we can add them on top of that. I love it. It gives it, we've got some of the music going on there. And you know, what we could do is we could go ahead and add this onto a tag. Okay. Add this onto this tag. I love that. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this on the tag. So we'll put some glue down and put some glue on this. So we're just moving right along here. We got a tag, we've got some dryer sheet and there we go. I think that's gonna be really, really cool. Really, really cool. Okay, do we want it up high? Do we want it down low? I think we want it down low. Okay, so I wanna make sure that these papers are out of my way and I'm going to grab the stapler and I'm gonna go ahead and staple my tag on there. And remember, I like to use two staples because to me that means it to me it looks like it's on purpose. That's just that's just something I like to do. Okay, so we have this little string here. Now something we haven't done in a while is add um like stickers to make like signature ties. But here we can do it and it can just be this pretty little dangle. Okay, sticker to sticker. And there we go, and that will dangle on there. So we have our sticker, our this here, that's two. This here is three, our tag is four, and our added papers for the flip flop, flip flop is five. So that gives us another embellishment added to the ones that we've already made. And then I think we can do one more. And let's see what I have over here that might be kind of fun. I have a library pocket. I don't know if I have any actual library cards that go in this pocket left. I don't see any. So we're going to need something. I'm looking to see if I can find us a little. Ooh, we've got, okay, so we have this. Then we have this little bag, okay, that can go, ta-da, okay. So let's go for it. We're going to go ahead, and the first thing we're going to do is let's rip this and add this to the side. And um, remember, I don't like to waste anything. This is the one that works, right? <laughs> I think it 
it needs a attitude adjustment. Let's see. You are a succulent. You are scrap. Okay. Squeeze. Nope. No such luck. So what's happened is um, we had some glue dry up inside of the the tunnel. <laughs> the spout right there. So it got stuck. Okay. So here we go. Adding this on. So we're gonna so I'm doing an extra one here. And I probably should have stopped stopped because it is time right now that I should go look at the beautiful star. Or the two planets that are making the beautiful star. But we'll go ahead and get this taken care of here. So we have this beautiful butterfly. And so I'm thinking a little bit of the dryer sheet that we still have here. Go ahead and add some some glue. Okay, there. Add the butterfly. And you know what? We have these these kids here that are. Remember this. Some of this is. Um, pieces that um, there we go of things that didn't turn out <laughs> okay I'm going to have to do some surgery on that. <laughs> okay, we're going to add our music. Add our butterfly. Okay, so different pieces. Just the your um, embellishments need to all be different. Okay, that's the... The main thing, yes, I am going to use the end of this paper clip because I don't know what's going on here, but we are, we have been compromised. We need help. Okay. There we go. So we'll add the butterfly. We could put a pocket down here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we have our base, which is our library pocket, our um, some of that scrap there, and then this here. Now the other thing that would have been really cool is to add some Rapunzel here behind that butterfly. I can still try and see if I can figure out how to get it in there. So, you know, sometimes when your brain is thinking about the star outside that only happens every 600 years. <laughs> so, I'm going to be going and doing that. And then I'll come back and do the, uh, the outro of this video, okay? So, um, but at least we've, we've got it done and hopefully with the upload speed and everything, we'll be able to get this up and start it on time tomorrow, which you're seeing it today. <laughs> ah. So, there we go. We'll just go underneath everything here. Add in some Rapunzel hair. Oh, I love it. Okay. So, very, very um, subtle. And then we'll, we can add, you know, tag or something here. Um, yeah, so that will be, ooh, 
Ooh, ooh. That will be amazing. And I do have this last piece of the, yeah, we're going to put that right on there. Last piece of the avocado dyed lace. And by the way, um, uh, don't forget that any new Patreons that are em emerald Patreons are going to get the avocado dyed paper ephemera kit as their de December ephemera kit. I added four new spots for emeralds. And so, um, yeah, so that's, there you go. Look it. And you get all the other perks, including on December 27th, you're going to have all the details for the January challenge. Okay. Everybody knows it's going to be a just junk journal challenge, but you'll have the full videos, the full details. Okay. So there we go. Isn't this awesome? Okay. So there's one. Here we've made a flip page that we'll be able to add to our journal. And so, of course, you could do like a notebook or whatever, but I wanted this to be the star. And so that's kind of on the wrong side of the page to be, um, to be that. So I think that this is really fun. And don't forget about being able to um, put your stickers together. Now, this one is not staying like I thought it should. So we'll just tell it what we think right there and add some glue to it <laughs> okay so we have our little postcard from the digital our little image from the pink harmony so this is basically the two two of the the four kits two of the main four kits from this weekend's launch we have the little tag and the dryer sheet oops and part of the avocado dyed kit right there Next, we have the little heart, dryer sheet, the digital from Pink Harmony, some lace, and a bingo marker. Love to use the bingo markers. And then we have the two business cards put together. They're like a light pink business card. The digital, this is from the antique or pink antique ephemera digital kit. We stamp the word hello on a scrap piece of paper. We have the lace and the um, foil circle from the, um, it's like one of these, but it's the gold foil. Okay, so there you go. I made four. You need to make three items, three embellishments using five items from your desk area. It can be for any project that you have going on now or you have coming up or even for you to send to someone else in Happy Mail. I hope you enjoyed this. The deadline for this will be December 28th, right? No, December 27th. Sorry, five, six, seven. December 27th will be the deadline for this. And I cannot wait to see what you make. Make sure that you go and you um, post your final pictures of your mini challenge and the challenge in the post on the December Junk Journal Challenge 2020 um, group in that group. Okay? So, um, yeah. So, I'm going to put the December 2020 Junk Journal Challenge playlist up here it includes the details video there's still time if you um, want to make a journal and follow along and do the 12 elements and all of that stuff um, the details video is also in the description box of this down below and um, YouTube's going to put something up here that they think you want to watch and I'll add an embellishment video find something to celebrate every day have an amazing day I'm going to go look at the star and tomorrow in the chat, I'll tell you what I thought. Have a great day. Bye. Bye-bye.